and welcome to my version of vlogmas day one um my skin looks really bad right now but i'm only gonna say that once per video don't worry i won't keep saying that i'll try not to even say it once per video but that's my limit that i'm limiting myself because i say it too much but I feel like I have to acknowledge it because it's so crazy. Anyway, it'll be like weekly vlog. I'm trying to really grind while I'm here because I want to be consistent on YouTube. But I also am so busy here. But I'm going to do it. Oh, my mom is here. I just went across the street to get the tickets printed. And I just realized we were supposed to be there an hour before. So we have got to go. Oh, shoot. Okay. Anyway, okay. We're going to go to Radio City Music Hall to see the Christmas Spectacular. We got Christmas candles yesterday. By the way, my mom is here with me as my assistant. Also, I love her and she loves New York and I want her to be here to experience everything with me. But she's also very helpful. I need her. I have to eat a spoonful of peanut butter while I take my Accutane. Because I need to eat like fatty foods with the pills. In my case, I take two. 220 milligrams, in case you were wondering. This is what mine look like. I love peanut butter. Um, perfect, thank you. Thank you, Thanks. New York is as busy as you think it is or more in New York because there are so many people around you. Milk fat. I don't really like raspberries that much. Yeah, but with peanut butter. Let's go home. Hello. So we just got home a little bit ago. It is 5.44 and I have actually a lot to do. I need to film part of a video, edit it, pre-upload it for tomorrow. I have to write two articles for two different websites and I have to come up with a creative concept for some Instagram pictures I'm gonna be taking. I really need to get on that, but first I'm hungry and also thirsty, so. At the store, I got a banana, my favorite Honeycrisp apple, berries, I love berries, and some dark chocolate because I was craving it yesterday. Okay, I'm scared. What does it mean if your raspberry has fat on it? Is that mold? I could live off berries. So I wrote both of my articles, which I'm really happy about, and I just need to edit now. But someone from Tresemme came by and gave me this first present of the holiday season. I think it's hair products. I mean, I assume it is because it's from Tresemme. <laughs> but it's kind of heavy, so I don't know. It's a box. Oh, it's another box. Ooh. Here we have it, folks. Dry shampoo. Foam shampoo. Invisible styler. Damage conditioner and shampoo. Definitely going to be using these tonight. Light moisture shampoo and conditioner. That's very exciting. I can't wait to use all of these things. This isn't sponsored, but just thought I'd tell you guys. I am a Tresemme ambassador again, and I'm really excited. Thank you, Tresemme. Merry Christmas. been filming all day. First day of filming, it's been good. This is my mom's necklace. Where'd you get this, mom? At the Seattle airport. Okay. This is Claire, the makeup artist. Hi. 
<laughs> and she also does my hair. She's awesome. You'll definitely see more of her if that's okay with you. <laughs> It is now 11 p.m. and I've taken all my makeup off, which feels really nice. It looks really red right now. Wow, that candle's really doing it. I wanna go to bed, but I have an interview that I need to prepare for tomorrow, so I'm gonna do that really quickly. Can you stop touching my face? Day one of filming. I couldn't really vlog any of it, but it was a really good day. It was very exhausting. I forgot how exhausting filming a show is. It's really fun though. Um, I met a lot of people today. Tomorrow we're filming in Times Square, which is gonna be really cool. So I will see you tomorrow. Oh look, there I am. Hi guys! <laughs> Just finished the interview, it went really well. It was very... Uh oh, I'm being watched. I'm scared. It was very intimidating, but I think it went really well. And it was at Snapchat headquarters in Times Square. So I got some Snap swag. Now we gotta go home. There's so many people passing and being like, what the heck? And I wanna show you guys what I got. I'm so hot. I'm in an outfit that a stylist gave me. Well, he didn't give it to me actually, so I don't even know if I can be wearing this. But this is what I'm wearing in one of the scenes and I wanted to look official today, so I wore it today. Thank you, stylist. See, it even still has the tag on it. Yeah, it is definitely a lot weirder to vlog in New York. And I feel like such an LA girl, even though I am so not. But here's the little Snapchat ghost. But wait, take this out, put all the little balls in there. And then it's a little neck pillow. Lovely. And then a water bottle. It's like a pouch and then you just fill it up. Drink from the ghost. Ooh, a little blow up Snapchat ghost. I'm gonna blow this up and put it in my room. That's adorable. I think that's it. Yeah, and then we went to the snack bar thing they have and we got sugar-free Red Bulls. Oh, another one. Oh my gosh. Also a Snapchat air freshener. That was my fun little time with Snapchat. I would have vlogged it, but they don't allow any photo or video. But at least I can show you this. If the article is out already that I just interviewed about, I'll link it in the description box so you guys can read it because I just went for it. We'll see how it comes out. If it's not out, make sure to check my Instagram because I'll definitely post it on my story. I don't know what I am. I like Oregon, but like, I'm not an Oregon girl. I like Laguna a lot. But unfortunately, I'm not like a beach babe. <laughs> I'm not really a Laguna girl. LA, definitely not an LA girl. Utah, I don't think I'm a Utah. No, I'm not a Utah girl either. New York, not a New York girl. So anyone wants to give me some new places to explore, try to see if I am a blank girl, let me know. I don't know where I belong. Probably why I'm bouncing all over the place all the time. But anyway, okay, bye. Jessica Mattis. I used to see her all the time because she lived in Laguna, but she moved here. And now I'm here and we're about to film a scene together. I haven't seen her in so long. I'm filming. <laughs> City today. It's our free day today. So we're getting Christmas shopping and exploring. And I don't wear face makeup on days off. I can let my skin breathe. It's looking really bad today. And that's okay. <laughs> okay, let's go.
here, my turn. Hi guys, I haven't talked to you in a while. We've mainly just been like walking around exploring. There's a bunch of different markets and cute little places to go. So we've been going all around, but we're hungry. So we're ready to go. <laughs> ready to go? Yeah. It's cold. That is the cutest store. So colorful and they have a garland around it. Oh. I never filmed at the dumpling place. Sorry, I don't know what that's about. Here's a picture. It was yummy. This is why I'm not doing daily vlogs because number one, I always forget to vlog. Terrible. Number two, I don't know, there's more reasons, but I forget to vlog. There's a good reason. We went to Whole Foods and got some things like fruit and I got this um, and I'm eating it right now and it's pretty good. The TV is happening right now, just to let you know. Um, here's a fun update. I uploaded a TikTok for the first time in a long time and the comments were so so rude! They were so rude, which shouldn't be surprised because I get slaughtered on TikTok. Don't know really why, but I do. So, um, not doing that anymore. Thank you for that. Except the people who left me comments are probably not watching this video. I love you all. You, okay? I'm just like going to the town square and being in the middle of the town where everyone was throwing rocks at you because you're so... Awful. Mm-hmm. The worst part is that the comments were being made about how I looked and like my appearance and everything, which is just like, that's low. Like that's not even like, like how do you feel okay making those kinds of comments? I am out here clearly knowing that I don't look good. I don't, ha I didn't have any makeup on. My acne was showing in the TikTok and I feel confident enough to post it and you're gonna go leave a comment. What happened to her? Really, are you? So basically what I'm getting from that is if I had put on a full face of makeup, did my hair and had an outfit on, is that what you would have rather seen? Would I not have gotten hate? What kind of message is that sending me? <laughs> so I am at a point where like those comments are like, ouch, okay? But they're not like seriously hurting me and I don't feel self-conscious because like I know what I look like and I like, I, I don't care. But I know a lot of other people that that would make them really insecure and really sad and that is such an awful thing. We don't need more of that going on in the world so don't do that. Don't comment on someone's appearance. If they are posting things of themselves or even if you see them in person and they don't look perfect, that's awesome. Don't put in their mind that they need to look perfect all the time. That pisses me off. Also, this lighting is really bad. Thank you so much for watching all the way to this point. If you liked it, thank you. Leave a like. Let me know what kinds of things you want to see during Vlogmas, if you have anything that you want to see at all. Uh, if you're not already, you should totally subscribe. Post every week, and I will see you guys in my next video.